One of the things that I told you we'd do in the second half of the term is take a stab at writing some piano accompaniment music. And that's what we'll do in these lecture videos. Uh, you will not have to write piano accompaniment for any test or final. And um, we won't be able to do too much of this because of time constraints uh, and just scope of the class. It's really hard to write good accompaniments for piano, ukulele, anything. Um, it's just hard to write music in general because there's so many parts. So uh, what we're going to do here is give you an overview of the steps you might take and we'll do one example while we write um, you know, an accompaniment for falling in love. Because uh, this is a super important skill that most people who are interested in music eventually want to have. Some people desperately want this. So here are some steps. You should learn to play the instrument that you're writing for. That doesn't mean you have to be great. It doesn't mean you can't write for the instrument before you play it really well or at all for that matter. But let's talk about learn to play. Can you physically get your hands on a keyboard if we're writing for piano? That's really important to, to deal with the mechanics of it. You can see the physicality of where you have to put your fingers in time. You can um, appreciate the sound that you're making by playing it. So learning to play comes in steps and you don't have to hit a certain level before you start to write, but it's so important to have an instrument in hand or accessible. Um, if you're gonna write detailed music for it and for you to get some level of competence on it. Imagine at the beginning of this term, I said, write some music for ukulele, but you'd never picked up an ukulele. It would be hard to know what the ukulele did well and what was difficult, um, what sounded good, what laid into the hands really well. Um, it would be, be very difficult. And now you have a more nuanced approach to that. So even though you might not be uh, James Hill or Jake Shimabukuro, you can start to write for Ook because you understand it better and you have it to check it out on, okay? Seek advice. So other people have written music for the instrument, in this case piano, um, and other people play better than, than you or play at the, the level that you're hoping to write this for. Always get uh, people with experience to look over your music, to help you understand what uh, works and what doesn't work, and to play the music even before it's done so you can get feedback on what happens. Um, study models. Uh, well, there's historical models. So we're going to do that in our steps today. So, you know, I've got like music that's been published, music that's published for easy piano and accompaniments uh, from classical music, and we'll try and learn uh, things from them. Finally, finish things. That implies that you actually start you know, some people say they want to write a book, but they never actually sit down and do any writing. I was at a uh, convention last summer where we got to uh, sit with people that were authors giving advice to other people. And all of them said, look, just, just write. Just write stuff. You know, People were interested in the editing process or how to make a deal and things like that. But they just said most people that want to write a book never just sit down and write the book. Just write the book from beginning to end, and if you get it done, you have, and this is them, you have a really bad book. Your first draft of your first book is a really bad book, but congratulations, you are, you know, a better writer than like 90% of the people out there that want to write books, because you actually finished a book. Once you have written it and finished it, um, you learn so much through that process that you can't learn if you didn't go through it. Just like I'm making you do performances of ukulele things. We all see the level of extra work you have to put in to make a decent performance, okay? So uh, in the next video, we will start to look at some of these things and try and give some guidance for writing uh, Falling in Love piano accompaniment.